In this video, I will show you how I did my best while giving my test to be selected in one of the best hotels of Pakistan. And uh, this video is dedicated to myself and my two teachers who polished my talent as a pastry and bakery chef. I was home for three months and I was thinking that I'm wasting my time sitting on a sofa all day. So I applied for the job and it is one of the best hotels of this country. I'm fully confident about my craft as a chef because of my two great teachers, Chef Nadun and Chef Saima, who taught me pastry and how we do things properly. They are not only good chefs but good hum human beings as well. I learned a lot from them and still learning from them. I was called to give three days trial in which I have to make things and let the chefs and the general manager decide whether I am up to their mark or not. But believe me, I am not worried because I believe one destination. If Lord has plans for me. I can't change what is already being decided, but yes, prayers and hard work can change anything. I always dreamed of living on the mountains and that is why I am enjoying my journey. I'm going to Kashmir and it's the beautiful place and located on the border from where India connects its uh, beautiful mountains. Just look at this beautiful Neelam river. My chefs guided me and uh, told me to make the recipes that I have fully control on but I have decided to make some of mine too. I have made the list in my mind what items should I make there. I am about to reach and it's the city named as Muzaffarabad. The air is so freshly rich that I can hint the smell of pine trees. I'm going to take rickshaw from here and uh, go to my friend and pro who provide me accommodation and guide me further proceedings as he also works in the hotel where I am about to go. He decided to take me to have some tikka and we had some tikka there and it was very delicious even though the place was very small, meet Salihin. It's my first morning and uh, I couldn't see the view yesterday because it was dark but uh, now in the morning everything seems very soothing and relaxing. India is situated behind these mountains. It's time to go and uh, do my best for that. I have to walk for 5 to 8 minutes.
Meanwhile, if you are a new viewer, please subscribe this channel. First, I will observe what items do they have so that I can decide what should I make. And I have asked the chef to provide me some ingredients which were not there. And also he asked me to fill the cake shop which is located upstairs in the coffee shop. So I made some cakes. This one is pineapple cake. And this is black forest cake and I also made fudge cake and made chocolates out of strawberry jam and all my crafts are here. The atmosphere is very clean, no dust like we experience in cities. In my second day I have decided to make some uh, decorations and uh, I made walnut brownie and opera cake yesterday and today I am going to assemble them and put in the coffee shop. I was feeling tired so I decided to have some lunch and go out to take some fresh air. Suddenly it came into my mind that my cookies are in the oven for baking and I went out and uh, took out the tray and this is chocolate babka bread and I put it uh, for proofing and then baked it. This is my own recipe and also this one is my own recipe. It's a simple um, spice banana cake with um, some cream cheese icing and a pinch of uh, cinnamon powder on it. Tomorrow will be my third day and on that day I have to make some Danish pastries along with croissants and I am making the cross. Welcome to my third day and I just baked this croissant and it turned out very good and delicious. I also made different kinds of breads which I learned from Ali Bhai who is a bakery chef in Marriott Hotel. Look at this, the happy moment for a bakery chef is the time of oven spring. My breads, all of the breads are ready and my Danish pastries as well. It's the final round and I have to send my items upstairs in a coffee shop where the GM along with all the chefs are sitting waiting to have a look on my pro final product. Meanwhile, I have some time so I decided to make some cake rusk and uh, the recipe of Soleheen, the macarons and uh, even though I have the recipe of macarons from uh, Chef Nadun but uh, these were easy to handle so I decided to make Soleheen's recipe. Even though it is not the part of my test but I was waiting for the final result so I was free and I just made these croissants and cake rusk. The executive chef seemed fully convinced and he said I have passed the test 
and that I can go after submitting my documents and now it's time to leave for Islamabad. I took kulcha that is the speciality of Kashmir and my brother and my mother both love these kulchas. And I was feeling so hungry because I didn't have anything to eat this whole day so I decided to have some tikkas from here. At last I want to share something with you guys about my experience of life. There were times when I used to think that I am a successful failure because I rely on others. I always seek help from others but I did not know that God has written my destiny in my own acts and when I started moving from my own I get success. I got success whenever I approached I went to grab the opportunities. Sometimes God don't want you to rely on people but he wants you to do something by yourself you have the power you have the key to success nobody else can give you the key it's already in you you just have to find out don't look for people to help you go help yourself go discover the world go discover yourself Go and grab the opportunities and if you don't have the opportunities, go create opportunities. Live your life the way you want to live. <laughs>